In this example, we're going to show a much more advanced feature where a user can create an account at this site using a raw OpenID URL. If you don't know what that means, then you probably shouldn't keep listening. But such a user, when they come to this site, they can go ahead and click the Create an Account button, and instead of clicking one of these buttons or entering an email address, they can paste in a OpenID enabled URL. And if they go ahead and click Continue, they'll get bounced to it, they'll see its specific OpenID flow. In this case, we're using a blogger hosted blog that's OpenID enabled. And I'll just say yes, just once. And when the user comes back, the website can say, great, that's fine, but I still need an email address from you, for example, for situations where the owner of the account needs to return an item and they call the help desk on the phone, they need to be able to identify themselves using an email address, which the help desk expects. So, I'll go ahead and put blogger at blogger.com blog user and fill out the rest of the required fields. Notice there's no request for a password. Click continue and voila, logged into the account. And in fact, if I go and sign out, and then come back to log in again. I can, in this email address field, enter the same URL of my blog, which happens to be ericsax.blogspot.com. If I hit continue, oh. enter the full URL. Now I get back in, and I'm logged into my account. Uh, the other option is I do still have this email address up here I associate with account. If I sign out and go to the login tab, I can enter that email here, and the website will remember the open ID associated with it. Again, bounce me through that, and I'll come back. And I could do other things with this account, associate other identity providers, uh, or maybe if I had chosen an email address that with an OpenID enabled email address, like Yahoo or Hotmail experience would have been a little bit different, but the mechanism would still work. Thank you.